Servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. This is another video from my series about Dresden and today I want to show you the Technical University of Dresden, TU Dresden. It is located south of the train station and I went there directly after I looked at the train station. I think it is a very beautiful university. It is not ancient, it is not medieval, but it is from the early 19th century. But to me it really looks like a castle of engineering and its brick buildings are also very beautiful in my opinion. Unfortunately nobody uses this red brick anymore these days. It would be way too expensive, it is way too labor intense to build houses like this. But back then a lot of factories and a lot of public buildings were built with this red brick. Here you can for example see the iconic Bayer building that is easily recognizable by the observatory that it sports. I have here some older pictures from the interior also. You see it really looks like an old classroom with a lot of wood. Yeah, I have to say I really like that. So here you can see me how I just walk up to the university area. There are a lot of beautiful houses also in the vicinity around it. More about that maybe later. And you can also see that the industry is cooperating with the Technical University in a big way. Their budget in 2018 was over half a billion euros and about half of that came from the industry, came from outside sources, not government funding. So what is a technical university first? A classical university has of course liberal arts, medicine, theology and all these things and in Europe they normally or oftentimes they were founded already in the middle ages. Technical universities, however, they normally don't have these courses and as the name says, they have a focus on engineering and the natural sciences. The TU Dresden, for example, was founded as a polytechnic institute and a lot of other technical universities were mining academies in the beginning, for example. It was in the 19th century when Germany was not unified yet and not industrialized yet and the German states they wanted to close that gap that Germany had with respect to England for example to the British Empire. For this purpose a lot of these academies and polytechnic institutes were founded where people could learn engineering all about steam and steel and railroads for example but also mining as I said before. In retrospect we can say that this strategy worked pretty well. So as Germany was unified in 1871, the Polytechnic Institute was then renamed and reformed into the Technical University of Dresden, the Technische Hochschule, as it was called. Hochschule, yeah, you might think it means high school, but in German Hochschule means university. The TU Dresden has other sites also besides Dresden. Also in other places in Saxony they have institutes. So nowadays they have over 30,000 students and only about 500 of them are studying social sciences or liberal arts, just for comparison. So the focus of the research is really semiconductors, material science, mechanical engineering. Saxony is somewhat of the Silicon Valley of Germany. Well, at least it is strong in the semiconductor industry, I should say. Semiconductor research and the semiconductor industry are very strong around Dresden. And of course, there are many institutes also around the TU that deal with these kinds of topics. It is also understandable, therefore, that the TU Dresden is one of the universities with the lowest ratio of female professors, only around 14% actually. So it is quite remarkable that while it is a public university, of course, while it is run and operated by the state, they shamelessly violate all the gender quotas and all the equal opportunity guidelines that are relevant for public office and for the public sector in general in Germany. So of course there is a Wikipedia page also in English if you are more interested in the Technical University of Dresden. You can uh, look it up down below. 
But if you are interested in university campuses, I am very much interested in that actually. Wherever I go, I try to visit campuses of influential or old historic universities. I did that in Japan, I did that in the United States. I'm very interested in that and I think in Germany Dresden is really one of those really cool universities. We have a lot of medieval ones as I said that have much older buildings but this is really from the time of industrialization and it really shows. I like that style personally very much. I cannot get enough of these brick buildings. So if you enjoy that too, uh, yeah, enjoy the walk with me and um, I will shut up from now on. Just have a look at this little tour of the university campus in Dresden. I catch you guys again later. Be safe wherever you are. Servus, Kameraden.